Blessings and peace to you, my brothers and sisters, in the very first week of Ordinary Time in the New Year of Grace 2021. I'm Father Michael, along with the rest of our team, and you're praying with the God Minute. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 122, The Temple. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to a sacred place, a place where the divine is, to give thanks. Though I know that God is everywhere, I go gladly. I pray for peace, here and in all the places of earth. Peace in Jerusalem, peace in Baghdad, Peace in all places torn by violence, peace and justice. Peace for my friends, peace for my adversaries. I seek what is good for all for the sake of peace. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. He said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing at all. Yet what is due to me is in the Lord's hand, and my reward is with my God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Isaiah today truly gives us something that I think all of us have experienced at one time in life or another. Disappointment. Those moments when we work so incredibly hard on something, and it just doesn't seem to pan out. One of those moments for me has come in leading retreats. One particular retreat, I was asked to give a talk to a group of my fellow students. I prepared for weeks and thought I truly had something worthwhile to give the group. But when the time came to give the talk, only a few people attended it. At first, I was disappointed because I thought more people would have attended. But then I came to recognize that the people who were present were the people Jesus wanted to hear my words. I believe Isaiah is talking about a similar experience to the one I had. We both put in a tremendous amount of effort, but it didn't result in how we hoped it would. Isaiah gives us a piece of hope when we encounter these roadblocks. Our reward isn't here on earth. It is in heaven with our loving Father. I like to think about what our reward in heaven will be like. I know it's easy to think about the traditional sense of the kingdom, with clouds, angels, and an abundance of light. Since I have not yet attended the heavenly banquet, I can't comment on the accuracy of these images, but I would like to offer another image for our meditation today. Peace. Something I struggle with throughout the secular world is my life is in constant turmoil. I feel like there is never space to listen, be quiet, and relish in the gifts and graces God has given to me. But I think the place I feel most at peace is in the Mass. And as a Catholic, 
I believe that partaking in the Eucharistic celebration is as close as I will get to the heavenly banquet here on earth. So, brothers and sisters, let us relish in the joy of the gifts God has for us at the end of our journey here on earth. Even though it may seem that we get our reward here on earth, we can be confident that Christ has a bountiful mound of rewards waiting for us when we go to see him. Rest in the joy of this reality. Rest in his peace. And remember your strength is not for nothing, but for those heavenly gifts. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father of all that is good and holy, we enter into the ordinariness of our daily lives with confidence that, focused on all the blessings we have received, we may find extraordinary ways to live our lives and be your witness here on earth, that we may one day enjoy the rewards of the heavenly banquet this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you and your loved ones now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thanks very much for joining us today, my brothers and sisters. May the peace of Christ go with you and be with you throughout your whole day today. Take good care of yourself and one another and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.